in this tutorial we override the behavior of the admin functionality and the login logout system uh, so in this tutorial i'm specifically foca focusing how to add a custom login page in django here you can see i have this custom login page working and if i try to log in just uh, in uh, you watched in the previous tutorial uh, we have a custom home page, we have a logout button, we can log out, we have a custom login page, and we have a sign up page. Although the sign up functionality is not working in this video, we'll come back to this in upcoming video. Uh, this video's focus is how to add these custom pages. And if you notice uh, here on the routes, uh, the login functionality is working in slash login. So we have this page, uh, which is a custom login page, and uh, in the sign up page, and we can navigate back and forth, and uh, we can also um, come here on the login page with this login button. And uh, one more thing you can notice here that login button is available when the user is not logged in, and uh, once the user is logged in, it uh, will change to the logout button and this is a default home page and i have also added a landing page just in case to show um, so let's uh, come to uh, the code in the visual studio code here i first of all i created a template folder and created uh, these templates html files the uh, first one is base.html, second is home.html, third is landing.html, login and sign up. Uh, first of all, if you notice the base.html, what I had done is created a simple page uh, with uh, this uh, specific if uh, where I checked user is authenticated. So uh, this is how you can make sure that the user is locked in. So this is the statement. If it is logged in, we uh, create a button for the logout, and if it is not, we create a button to log in. And uh, this is how you provide the URL for a specific uh, a route. Uh, for uh, seeing the routes, you can I put that routes into UT the main project URL files. Here we don't have to uh, swing okay. for a specific custom login routes and here you mm -hmm. can see the login sign up home and logout routes mm -hmm. and uh, the admin routes are the previous routes uh, fetched from the admin sites and urls so uh, one more uh, landing route and for the la landing page uh, we had created a name of landing page this is a name of the route and we imported the views from that uh, from our authentication views app login view sign up view home logout and landing page view and we put that here after that well, uh, let's move to the views.py file here uh, you need to see that on a landing page we are simply rendering an html file so that's as simple as that so this is how you can render some a uh, template HTML file. After that, we have a login view, and inside the login view, we check if the uh, method is post, and uh, if it is not, if it you are fetching it with the get, we create a authentication form. It is a default form, comes with the Django country and auth and forms and authentication form and user creation form. User creation form is used in a sign up um, view and um, the authentication form is used in the login view. So if the form is valid, we attach the user and try to log in with this function. This function is used to lock you in and it is available in Django contrib.auth and you can import it login and logout functions. So after that, once the user is logged in, we can redirect it to the home. And uh, if the uh, in other case, we create a simple form and render that in login.html file. Similarly, we created a sign up view where we check if the method is post. So we touch the form uh, with the post request. And if the form is valid, we save that uh, form or the user and log in it and redirect it. 
and as we create we need to touch up this sign up view in upcoming video but for now if uh, you need to notice one more thing in the login required uh, we created a login url this is a custom login url if you don't mention that it will automatically redirect you to some other authentication slash login which we don't want we just want it to redirect to the slash login so we just provided a custom login url and it is simply redirecting and this one makes sure that you are logged in so if you are not logged in and try to access the home route let's see uh, we try to do that and it will automatically redirect you to the login page so here you can see it automatically redirected to the login page so that's what this uh, decorator is doing finally we have a logout view and in the logout view we have simply use uh, the logout function and pass the request and redirect to the home and home will automatically redirect to the login page so you can simply also redirect to the login as well so let's see uh, you try to log in here and uh, once you are logged in you uh, go to uh, try to log out and it will redirect to the login page that's how simple it is so um, that's all for today's video see you into the next video where we'll explain how to pass the messages from um, the errors uh, you, you see if you face some errors trying to log in and you pass that to the um, page uh, pass to that page to the login page so if your username is incorrect or the password is incorrect or in any some cases you don't log in you will just pass the error message we will see that in the next video thank you